It's Saturday night. There's a fat cap. Oops, and there's a cold one. So that can only mean one thing. It's a flat cap and a cold one. So just the camera a bit. I'll turn that down a tad, but I keep turning it down too much. So yeah, Saturday night, flat cap and a cold one. Galahad. Look at that. <laughs> Flat as... Uh, well, there's a bit of fizz in it, but it's cheap. It's cheap, isn't it? £2.15. But, uh, yeah. Oh, flat cap is... Uh, well, I keep saying 2 95 Amazon. <coughs> I don't know how much they are now. I haven't bought a flat cap now for quite a few years. So this is the 2 95 Amazon job, I call it. And, yeah, if you've been watching some recent videos um, about the uh, the ribs, the rib saga, many thanks for one or two of you have been asking how are the ribs. Still broken. I breathe in, it's like getting stabbed with a pencil. Um, really painful. It's only been the first week. And so I've got a few... Well, six to eight weeks it's going to take. But the painkiller combination that I'm on, they do help a bit. They don't get rid of the pain altogether. But they do help. And, uh, yeah, six to eight weeks. And I haven't been doing much. There's a lot of stuff I can't do. Um, with the videos I'm talking about now. I can't do the shuffle. I could do a little mini shuffle, but and I don't think of laughing, and I don't think of sneezing. Oh, it's painful, really painful. It's bad overnight, and it's really bad in the mornings. But like I say, once the painkillers, this combination of painkillers, they do kick in and they do ease it slightly. So thanks very much for for asking. But I'll I'll get better. I'll I'll mend eventually. I was thinking. Uh, a lot of people, you know, they haven't broken their ribs, they haven't broken a bone, in, single bone in their body, but you don't want to either. It's not recommended, is it? Um, but your ribs, I mean, you don't want to break your ribs, obviously, basically, anyway. But, um, oh, I can feel it now. It hurts, it goes around the side, and it's like as if it's on the back as well. It's, and then it'll ease slightly and then it comes back, but anyway, enough of my moaning, you know, it's not like me to moan, is it? Oh, I didn't. But, um, yeah, I was thinking, this is the third time now I've broken my ribs. I wonder how many people have broken their ribs three times in as, what, ten years, is it? Something like that, I would have thought. A few year break intervals. Break your ribs, you heal, a couple of years, you break your ribs again, you heal, a couple of years and you break your ribs again. I wonder how many people have broken their ribs three times. There can't be many, can they? A hat trick. <laughs> so yeah, I'll, I'll get there. Um, as I say, i got some new, new ideas for new videos and stuff, but I haven't been able to get out and, and about. But they're on hold, you know, they're in the pipeline. So yeah, I'll get there. And just, I've been mean, putting recently as well, just moving one or two videos from my Denby Vids channel. I don't use that channel now, it's for reasons I've explained. Thank you, YouTube. Um, but I've got like archive stuff and of, you know, on this channel I'm getting a hell of a lot of more new subscribers which won't have watched any of my videos on my Denby Vids channel. And probably, you know, a lot of people that have subscribed to my Denby Vids, my old Denby Vids channel, won't have seen the video. So I just trickle in, you know, the odd video, like the from the archives, <laughs> maybe a few years old and what have you. But it's still interesting, you know, there's a lot of people showing interest. If you don't want to watch my videos, or certain videos, I've said it before, 
On this channel there's something for everyone, it's all different stuff. If you like that type of subject I post, watch it. If you don't like it, well fair enough. But, or if you don't like that subject, then simply just don't watch. You know, it's, it's all good. It's all good fun, isn't it? It's all... So, anyway, obviously, basically. Um, haven't been out, like I said, doing the Brim Um And I, I, that last section, that's if you've been following them videos, there's, there's the last section that they've held back. And it looks to me like it's been demolished. I was passing there the other day and I just glanced up. But I'll be doing a, um, you know, update on all that. And of course the mental. You can't keep me away from that place. I've been documenting that place for years. And I will continue to document it. Of interest to me, it's of interest uh, to the people of Denby. And interest to many people worldwide as is the goblin tower <laughs> oh, sh I shouldn't make myself laugh I have made that place famous I have I'm, I'm quite proud of that since I started YouTube and covering well goblin tower cinder track which is haunted just case I never mentioned it did I mention that the uh, Goblin Tower's haunted. Might not have mentioned that, but it's haunted. Just in case I never mentioned it. And you know why it's that I say that? I have <laughs> explained. That's the uh, the ongoing joke. And the North Wales Hospital, the mental, that's, that's haunted. And someone joked about the castle. I did a recent video about the castle. That's haunted. And it is haunted. <laughs> By the Grey Lady, apparently. I've never seen anything. Well, I have seen orbs and things. And cat's eyes and all that, but the old goblin tower. I like to say that I have made that famous. You've seen it here. Did I mention it was haunted? Might not have mentioned that. Anyway, the goblin tower is haunted. Just in case I never mentioned it. There'll be cold one going down if it's all, all albeit flapper. So yeah, I've got a few videos in the pipeline. It'll probably be a week or so once I get get up and going again. Oh, buddy, you, you do not want to break your ribs, I tell you. If you haven't broken your ribs in the past, try and avoid it if you can. And try not to break them three times. I wonder how many people have broken their ribs three times. It must be a bit of a, a bit of a record that. It must be, surely. Surely, obviously, basically anyway. And the Sunday roasts, by the way, I'll be doing them. Someone has commented, I think a couple of you have commented. I was saying that there's certain videos I won't be able to do at the moment. And I've had a couple of comments in saying, oh, what about the Sunday roasts? And Sunday roasts are going ahead because I can do them. They may not be as much of the wacky fill-ins that I used to do. They'll get back to normal as I get back to, to normal. But I will be doing the Sunday roasts, which is one tomorrow, and it's going to be a pheasant. Um, yeah, I know, I know. Before you start commenting down below, pheasants, oh, shock horror, they're out of season. Great invention, the freezer. <laughs> My last one, too. I had about four, four or five, I think. So I'm doing that tomorrow. Pressure cooker, Pressure King Pro. Um, I'll have... Welsh Charlotte potatoes, they're absolutely lovely. Obviously, basically, you have to live in Wales to buy them, but get them. Um, Aldi's 75p. They're like a very waxy. And they're Welsh, Welsh, I think they call them baby Charlottes, or just Welsh Charlottes. I'm sure they're Charlottes. Anyway, you'll see them on the video tomorrow. If you haven't tried them, try them. They're absolutely Beautiful spuds. I'm sure they call them baby charlottes. Um, anyway, obviously, basically. You'll see them in the video tomorrow. Whatever spuds I use in, in the Sunday roast tomorrow. If you haven't tried them and you live in Wales, try them. You'll love them. And, ch oh, I was going to get chickpeas. I might, I've got quite a few cans of red kidney beans. I'll have them with them. With the pheasant. Um, 
or, or plenty of left. Got to have that now on, on a Sunday. That, that stuff is absolutely... I'm glad I stumbled across that stuff left. The brown. I think I prefer the brown. They do a brown and a blonde, I think they call it. Oh, what do they call it? Bl blonde, is it something? It's a li like a, a lighter colour. The brown is, is a really dark brown. But I think what put me off with the blonde is that it had a cage and champagne cork and you can't get the cork out and I'm glad someone commented saying I, I had the same trouble the cork actually snapped for them and you have to use a corkscrew and what have you but I've got like a gadget, like a strap you can twist the cork I shouldn't have done that and you can twist the cork out but you know but I've noticed now in Tesco they both got crown corks on the brown and the blonde is it I think they call it the blonde it's the lighter one anyway so they got you know the crown cork you just get them off with a with a bottle opener but that, it's absolute it's beautiful stuff if you've not tried it I've said it before and I'll say it again it's called Lef if you like it if you like it into your ales shall we say or you it is strong it's six point I think it's six oh six point eight I think something like that it's good warmth behind it if you've not tried it, left. Get yourself a bottle. It's beautiful. And I've got some Merry Down, I think. I've got Merry Down and the Aldi's vintage side. I think I put a bottle of Merry Down in the fridge to, to have with it as well. So that's the Sunday roast. Sunday roasts are unaffected because of the old uh, broken ribs. So that's about it, I think, for get that topped up. So that's the end of that cold one. So that must be end of another Saturday night flat cap and a cold one. So I'll see you guys in the next one.